Bucks County is back and we are here on Bucks County PA. Welcome to Farming Simulator 2019. Bucks County is back. Uh, it was taken off. Well, it wasn't taken off, but uh, it was updated. If you want the new changes, which are lower slot count and precision farming DLC soil samples uh, that are not generic, you must, and I repeat, you must delete your old save game and start a new one so we are on starting from scratch uh, even though we have all these vehicles we have no land so I'm gonna sell some of these vehicles because we don't need three John Deere's if I, anything I'll use maybe one but um, that's the slot counts are really high on John Deere and that's why I don't I don't use them So those two, and then I'll leave the 84R. Actually, no, I'm gonna sell the 84R. Um, I'll leave the rest of the stuff for right now. So we need some land to get this precision farming going. Obviously, we have we can use the main farm over here, um, and we also have the silo at the horse farm, which I believe we can still use. But I want the sheep farm. That's what I want. So that consists of field 44. That's 410,000. That's that's a lot of money. Um, and then I want to go... I think I want to go with... Let's see. 213, 57, 64, 89. So I want to get these three... That leaves me with $639. I want to get at least one big plot. Um, let's see here. 3.6, 2 uh, I'm thinking 46. And then... Yeah, so we'll start with field 44 and 46, and then these three fields will be my, my grass fields because they're all under an acre. So we'll have about three acres of grass, which will get us some stuff. Um, and then now what we need to do is we need to get the John Deere Gator. I'm going to use that. I, I could use the quad track, but I don't like using big... Actually, you know what? To save money, I am going to get the gator. Or the case quad track. And all this John, Duff, John Deere stuff has to go because I am not using John Deere at all. Alright, so good enough for right now. Let's go down to the store. Let's get the scout. Buy the scout first. Oops, I'm going the wrong way to get out of here. Well, I'm just going to reset my vehicle quick. Now that we have the, the farm over here, we won't really need to be at that farm a whole lot. Eventually I'll get there, but not till we get a lot more money. So, first up, what we need to do is we need to... Well, I'm going to test field 44 and 46 right off the bat. This tractor is a little too big for my liking, but it'll work for right now.
Alright, so we are going to unfold the scout and then you wanna try and get as much in here as you can. Take a few soil samples. Some of these fields are pretty big, so sometimes you will need to take 20 plus samples. So make sure to save money so that you aren't wasting anything and that you have enough money to take soil samples with. Now, if you don't care about the generic version or the updated version, because what what it, what they did is they gave modders the map makers permission to make their own soil textures, and with that, you have to have a new save game. But if you don't care about that and you just want to use the generic version, then all, by all means, you can keep going at the at the game save that you're on. These fields I have are pretty small, but once we get into the bigger fields, I'm going to have to kind of do like I did on Lone Oak and just kind of not show you guys every little detail because it would take me forever unless I live stream. And I also want you guys to know Six Ashes I am still working on. There was a bug issue. Uh, there's a mod conflict somewhere in six, somewhere with the Six Ashes map I have um, Let's Play going on. So I gotta try and figure out what the mod issue is. I, I kind of got it narrowed down this morning a little bit, but I didn't completely get it narrowed down all the way. So when I have more patience, I will work on that again. So field 44 is complete. We can now send this into the lab for analysis. Uh, next, we go over to field 46. I'm going to try and cut for these trees. I will be doing some logging on this map. Uh, just not sure when. Because I want to get all these trees taken down around my field. So let's take a look at the first field that we did. It did come back. The first field that we did was 44, and you see that's all Lumi Sand. Not good. Um, Lumi Sand is not something you want. You want Sandy Loom and Loom. I believe it's Lumi Sand and Silky Clay are the bad ones, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, between now and then. Our projected yield, though, for this is negative 81%, so we're going to get try and get that into the minus um, as much as we can, which is what I'm going to work on here in a little bit once we get everything plowed and seeded and whatnot. Field 46 may take me a little bit because it is a big field. So what I'm going to do is actually, you know, it's not really that much bigger than f the first one that we did. So I'll just, I was just going to come back after I got it done, but. 
should be okay. Now, if you miss bit, bits and pieces, that's not too terribly bad. I mean, like I said, you want to try and get as much in as you can. If you have money and you want to go back and get those little bits and pieces, by all means, go ahead and do it. It doesn't cost that much per sample anyway. I think it costs maybe like 50 to 100 dollars. Zoom up close at this next sample, I'll let you see what it looks like when it's working. That that is so cool that they did that. That is absolutely amazing. I love this DLC. It 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 definitely makes it more realistic. And I hope that modders and map makers can, you know, do so much more with this DLC now that it's out. And honestly, if you guys have not checked out TNT Modding, you really need to. They are amazing at what they do. Um, Blue Mountain Valley is simply amazing. Uh, you know, you can use the Factories Pack by Shaba on there. Now, uh, although it doesn't work for Seasons, more and more of these packs are coming out and they're fun. Um, Blue Mountain Valley is a wonderful map. If you don't want to use, you know, do the Factory and you want to play Seasons, Go ahead and do that. It, it's just, it's amazing. And TNT, they are so good at what they do. And they're quick to fix changes and they try and make everybody happy. TNT modding, you know, I follow you guys on Facebook. I gave you my YouTube channel. You guys, you guys are simply amazing. And I just want to give a big shout out to you because you guys. You guys do a lot of work, you know, Auction and David, he does amazing stuff. Bullet Bill did really good stuff when he was make, making maps and mods. Um, there is another one, the maker of... Uh, oh, what's the map called? I just did it the other day, I can't think of it. It'll come to me. But she used some of Auction and David's stuff in her map. She did an amazing job. Um, I can't think of her name, but she she just she's awesome. TNT mining, like I said, you guys need to check out TNT. You guys gotta really play this map because there is not one person, and I've been in a lot of farm sim groups lately, but there is not one person that's not playing Bucks County right now. Everybody loves Bucks County. It it has the Lone Oak feel to it, and I think that's what draws me in. Is because I love Lone Oak. I love the way that auction that auction and David did Lone Oak, and it just it has a good feel to it. And this map, although it it may be a little, you know, not the widest area, but it, it's perfect in a sense that it's fun. There are not many fun maps for console players, I'll be honest. Um, Bucks County, Blue Mountain Valley, Mercury Farms, Lone Oak, Sandy Bay, Six Ashes. Those are a list of fun maps for console. But if you go on PC, there's so many awesome maps. And unfortunately, some of those maps will never come to console for whatever, for whatever reason. Uh, 46 is done. We can send that in. Now we got to go do the small ones, which I'm going to do all three and then send them in. Make it easier. But, um, yeah, it just... It's, it's fun, and it's a map that I can see myself playing for a while. 
You know, I, I can play Six Ashes, I can play Blue Mountain, I can play Bucks Valley. Um, I, I can't sit down and I can't play a lot of these UK maps. Six Ashes is one of them I'll play because it's, it's got a different feel to it. Yes, you have to think differently on it. But it's one that draws you in. Like, there's something about it and I can't pinpoint it. I think it's maybe just like the beautiful scenery, honestly. But it's a fun map, just like this one. This one's beautiful. It's well done. It's well done. It's got that lone oak feel. It's just an awesome map. And like I said, you guys really gotta check out TNT Mining because they're doing big things in the industry. Whoa, truck! And um, yeah, I, I I don't really know what else to say other than they're they're awesome. Alright, so the second field came back. Let's see what that is, what that's going to be. Hopefully that's going to be some better sand quality, soil quality, whatever. Uh, let's see. Ooh, not both the same. I think that's silky clay. Yeah, silky clay. Expected yield minus 88%. So those two fields are minus 81, 88. So let's hope and see that these that I can get that to change because I really, really, really want to try and get the soil quality better. And going back to TNT, you know, they're so quick to reply to messages, they, they try and help everybody, you know, they try and be informative, they, they want to make everybody happy, they ask what everybody's opinion is on their Facebook page before they go ahead and change something. They're an awesome group of map makers. I don't know if it's one or two people or how many people that it is that, that do that map, if it's just one person, but uh, TNT, you are amazing. And, like I said, I, you guys gotta check them out. Um, if you're on Facebook, look up TNT Modding, and I can even add it into this video. Yeah, so I'm thinking these few fields here are going to be my grass fields to make hay for the sheep. Um, technically, I don't usually plow grass fields. But I might as well plow these anyway. I'm probably going to end up taking the little... Um, let me find it. It's a cedar and it plows for you. This one, oh no, not that one. This one, the T4, T4640. I might, I might use that and try and get the stuff done a little bit quicker. I'm gonna be doing lots of forestry, though. I can see that.
this field won't be too bad for the T-Force because they're they're small, they're not super huge. Because on some of the big fields, you gotta have two plus tractors to get all the field, you know, the whole field with with the T-Force be not being so huge. If there's a modder out there that can make a mod, you know, make one that's a little bigger. Because I like the T-Force, it's just it's not it's not big enough for me. All right, so we're gonna send these in. Um, Let's look at my season stuff here. Uh, change this down to nine days. Leave this on. I'm gonna put this at ten though. Weeds I don't really even have on. Whoops. So we can plant everything except sugarcane and cotton. Right? Yeah. Oh no, we can plant cotton. So we can do everything except sugarcane, which is fine because I don't do sugarcane anyway. Uh, we should be running Midwest GO. I thought that's what I put on here, but I don't think so. Uh, so we are in the planting stage for grass. I want to see. These do not need plowing, but the pH levels are bad. So the pH levels I can take care of. Oil seed, okay. Previous cereal, uh, pre pre before previous grass needs plowing. So yeah, I might as well take the T force to all the fields and call it good. Um, let's look at the soil textures. So. Whoops, I didn't mean to click L3. If you accidentally click L3, it does clear it. It's whatever. I didn't spend that much money on soil samples anyway. So, if we look over here, over here it would be good because there it's all loom. Loom is really good. Loom is what you want. Loom is probably the best, in my opinion. So, unfortunately, our two big fields, yes, we don't have a lot of good so soils but over here we have all loom with a part of loomy sand so for grass fields I'm not too worried about the soil um, but that does matter so our let's see it our expected yield for field 41 is plus 120 percent our for field 39 plus 39 percent and for field 40 plus 120 percent so we need to work on these two fields over here so as you can see they're negative uh, so these three fields are going to be for hay because I'm going to end up getting sheep at some point this year hopefully within the first se first or second season um, I could actually buy them now if I really want to because I do have the extra money. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this back to the pasture where I store my vehicles and I'm going to buy the T-Force and we're going to start seeding. Um, I'm going to do the small fields first and then I'll do 44 and 46 off camera because they're bigger and they're going to take me a while. Uh, but before I seed, I need to put lime down because our pH levels we're going to have to take a look at. So the pH levels are kind of iffy. Um, over here, they're not so bad. They're in the green, which is where you want them to be. They need to be about 6.75, I think. 6.5 so they're okay but they could be better um, and using the lime application for that why do we have a s I'm just gonna turn traffic off there sometimes that happens 
but I, I like turning traffic off anyway because it's a nuisance. So, um, the Lime Applicator, you, it can automatically adjust it for you, or if you're good and you know what you're doing, you can do, you can do it manually. It's totally up to you. So I don't think on those three fields we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, need a lot of Lime, but who, who knows. Why do I not have a shed over here? This is different. I don't like this. This is really different. Alright, well we'll just leave this right here for right now. I, I'll deal with this later. I don't know why this is being like this. This looks a lot different than what I remember. Alright, so we are going to buy a new tractor because this one's going to be too heavy for the lime. Uh, or too big, I should say. It's going to tip it over real easy. So, what I'm going to do, let's see. Let's find a medium case tractor. Let's see if I can find one with a front loader attachment. I can buy the Puma. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, rim color. Let's go with a uh, case. Design color. Let's go. Case again. Put Michelin's on here. I, I I like tracks, but I don't like those tracks. I don't really care about the terminals um, all that much. Two hundred twenty-seven for that, and then I'm going to. Man, this is where I love this tractor. Um, I'm going to... Let's see. But I need... The... Vitrus. And I need to buy some... Do I have a lime silo? I think I do over here. I have a lime sour, so I don't need to buy lime. This looks different without the Lone Oak Shed. I I really hope I didn't sell that. Or maybe it's part of the new update. So 2699 is way cheaper than what I, what I, than what I would have spent for bag um, lime. We are going to go over here. We are going to lime the two fields closest to us, which will be 46 and 44. So levels on here aren't too bad, but it's going to probably take a lot of lime. Mm -hmm. 
lime's going down pretty slow, so that's good. Um, we're applying we're pH right now is at 5,000, but it needs to be at uh, six. So not too bad. You can see it's going down a lot slower than it would be otherwise. And each soil type is also different um, when it comes to pH levels. So it's a good thing to have automatic because if you have four soil types or three soil types, you're going to be going back and forth and you can put too much on or too little on and really screw up the soil. So it's good to have it on auto. Yeah, we did just the just the border, and you can see where we did. We only used like forty percent. This is probably one of my favorite spurs to use in the game. I love the Vitrus. Um, other than the John Deere self-propelled sp spreader, I like it because it carries a lot, but it only spreads, I think, like 15 meters, 10 meters for lime. And then fertilizer, it spreads a lot more. Once I knock these trees out, though, I might use a sprayer for fertilizer and then a spreader for lime. Alright, things are looking good. Things are looking really good. pH levels are right where they need to be. I missed one spot I don't think it's going to allow me to fertilize again, or uh, lime, which it's not. Alright, so the whole field's done, lime is right where it needs to be with the pH levels. Um, we are going to go over, I'm going to actually fill up on lime again before I start, but then now we're going to go over to field 46 and get that taken care of. And I'm gonna have to put the Lone Oak Shed back over here because I just. It's, it, this feels so blah without it. I, I honestly, I don't remember selling it. Um, maybe you can't do it anymore. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. So I don't remember selling it. That's interesting.
No! Crap. Come on. Get back up. There you go. Alright. This is what happens if you don't have a front weight, so I'm gonna have to reset this, unfortunately. Um, we're almost out of time, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish Lime in the field, um, and in the next video we will talk about what the changes that had happened. Um, I'm gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lime and seed off air, and then I'll fertilize back on so you guys can see what changes with the nitrates have occurred and whatnot so I will see you guys here in a little bit thank you for watching if you like some more great co content please smash that subscribe button have a great day folks and, and remember check out TNT modding on Facebook